dear learner after uh, completing our slab design okay now we'll go for our a staircase design so to design a, a staircase i will use a simple excel sheet but before that we have to you have to understand which cage for what types of cage i will go for uh so let's go to our excel file here a staircase design and here we have six case total six case for the um, for depending on the position of our a staircase so we are seeing that in this staircase we have a beam here and here that means end of our staircase we are getting beam so <clears throat> I'll go for a staircase one and we are seeing that for a staircase one we have beam in the both end here and here also now again if I go for another case we're seeing that we have beam here and here also we have beam here and here but here uh, we have also another beam so who is one will select actually previous one or this one i think this one why let's go to autocad then here we have a landing or say here we have a bottom landing okay so from in bottom landing what in a bottom landing will be same level in our floor so from floor here a beam will be connected also here a beam will be connected that means this beam will be connected till that position also this beam will be connected till that position then the staircase will go up again after coming here here it's a depend on you will use a beam here in mid portion or not sometimes some engineer provide some engineer do not provide so what we'll do we'll use sorry we'll use a case two okay and if i uh, show you some another case see here also we have uh, some another case where um, we have beam here here and here and also here okay um, sorry uh, case two case two was for a beam in that portion and that portion also but uh, i think this on is uh this one is not i will go for case three so this is the final one for who is will go for dz so i'll change here three five zero zero and uh extra dead load for extra dead load what will be the dead load so uh self weight and also if they have any partitional load on it so we know on a staircase it will not carry any partitional load because they have a beam and also they have a beam beam will carry all load so uh, on top of i mean uh, but also i'll provide here some load like that's a 60 psf live load for a staircase for a small structure it's okay to use 60 psf but you have to use this as per your code now uh, uh with a beam so our beam with is 10 and uh, the extended beam so what is the extended beam the beam in the mid landing it's also 10 inch let's say a starting landing length so what will be the a starting landing length let's say this side so i'll go here and for that length actually four feet and that side this is three feet and uh, 11 inch let's say four feet four feet so this is four feet and in landing also four feet <clears throat> so what is the meaning of s sorry what is the meaning of a start and in landing this is the a start then you'll go again um this is the end again if you go for next part then it will be a start then it will go and it will be the end now uh the trade and riser 
height size 10 inch into 6 inch straight 6 10 and riser 6 and uh, number of thread so as our how much thread and riser you will provide we will go to our autocad float plan we'll go to our autocad float plan and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have 10 a step and 11 riser it is 10 and it is 11 okay always remember that number of riser will be 11 if our number of trade is 10 that means uh one will be more than number of trade then clear cover 0 0.75 it's okay and then long main bar 12 and transverse rain bars 10 mm it's up to you and, and the value is depend on code so this value is default if you need to change it you are able to change it so i'll go load calculation so i'm seeing here the waste slab minimum as per aci code three on eight table 9.5 a or this value is 7.52 so here i'll consider 7.5 inch thickness for our staircase effective depth 6.2 and uh, when it's okay now i'll go for sfd bmd and design calculation in design calculation we check that our th uh, depth check is okay or not so we're seeing that our thickness check is okay depth check is also okay now if we go for um, here let's say for six inch six inch thickness if we go for six inch thickness and if we come here uh, let's say it's also okay for six inch thickness it's also okay and here everything is okay but our code recommend us to use minimum thickness as per code calculation it is 7.52 so i'll use here 7.52 but for residential building of low rise uh, one or two story building we may ignore ignore that thickness again i'll come here and see here the final detailing at the total waste slab thickness here the reinforcement detailing 12 mm a long reinforcement 12 mm at the rate of 12 mm fire at the rate of uh, 6.75 in center to center and our distributor re distributed reinforcement that is 10 mm fire at the rate of 8.7 in center to center so if we consider uh, 12 mm at the rate of 6 in center to center and 10 mm at the rate of 8 in center to center with 7.5 in thickness it will be okay so thank you thank you very much